It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Wanted to show you something. Got my fountain running. There's only one problem with that fountain. I can hear it in the house. And it makes me want to pee. That's not what I wanted to show you. I want to show you two baby hummingbirds. I couldn't get the camera to focus. Too bad. It looks like they thought I was going to feed them. They both got their mouths open. Finally got a decent still shot. They're growing. Um, a couple of days ago, they looked like they're half that size. The eggs are about the size of a M and M. Hummingbird nests. So we gotta get out of here before Mama comes back. She buzz your head if you mess with the babies. I stopped filling the hummingbird feeder because. The bats um, in the evening drain it in 10 minutes. Beautiful bougainvillea. Show you another hummingbird nest. We've talked about this one before. Thought maybe somebody would come and use it. They do use them more than one year. I know that because I had another one where they used it about three years. Cut that open so that I didn't have to walk all the way around anymore. Make a little more progress on cleaning up here. Anyway, like I said, Beautiful day in the neighborhood. No scorpions in the pool today. That's good. Actually, maybe that's bad. They drowned. I don't have to deal with them anymore. Oh, maybe that's one over there. Nope. Just flower blossoms. That thing's loving the weather. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> Guy out there fishing in the lake. I've been working on... Let's see. This is a Singer sewing machine table. And uh, we converted it to a sink. Many years ago, I've put a new faucet on it. Had to custom make the mount back there, and I'm revarnishing it. That uh, wooden sewing machine table wasn't made to be near water, and um, a couple of times I've had to redo it. And a bunch of the wood back here is deteriorated, and I use Bondo Auto Body Putty few more coats of um, stain there and then I'll verifying verifying the whole thing keep the water from getting to the wood so that's uh, part of my red bathroom here it goes right there another project here in the red bathroom I'm going to show you that the wall curves around here to get into the bathroom. Shower. No shower door necessary. Rain shower. A new shower handle. This was uh, quite the project. I had to take out about uh, two square foot of that red tile and chisel the old pipes out of the concrete. They're set in concrete because they started leaking and they were too old to repair. Uh, Juan redid the 
wall in here in the last uh, week or so. So, anyway, making some progress. I don't know if I ever showed you my laundry room. Um, and bathroom number five. Anyway, just working on these projects to get the house uh, ready for us to leave and go back to the motorhome in a month or so. And uh, editing a video for you in between sanding and varnishing and trying to multitask here. Uh, the rest of this video is going to be about just uh, running around with our friends Steve and Jan. You know, it's really nice to have uh, people visit because after being here for 20 years, I don't do a lot of going out and seeing stuff and it's really nice to have new eyes to show around town and see what's what and um, anyway, just uh, some random clips about being around. Oh, and the first one's going to be about um, a newer, one of the newer shopping areas here that has a lot of imported goods and um, uh, it's called Ponchos. Enjoy. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today.
Those are Costco paper towels up there, which I always buy at Costco, and toilet paper too. Um, there's a sign here on the wall. 369 pesos is their price at Poncho's Deli, and it was 322 pesos. That's a $2.35 delivery charge, lots cheaper than gas. Going to Costco in Guadalajara. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> What's on my mind today? <laughs> Hi, today. <laughs> Spinach omelet with fruit and beans, 89 pesos. Bacon, Bacon French and toast, and with fruit and two eggs. That was like 79 pesos, yeah. but the eggs were extra. Right. 57 pesos for the eggs. Thank you. And this is two eggs. Two eggs. Bacon. And bacon and fruit. I think this was 69 pesos. 79 pesos. 79 pesos. We've driven to Punta de Mirasol. Mirasol is one of the housing areas between Ajajic and Chapala. And Punta means it's a point out into the lake. Love the mountains this time of year with the clouds hanging in them and the blue sky above. Guadalajara is 30 kilometers on the other side of those mountains. Lake Chapala. There's a great egret flying past there. La Garza. And back home at my house, it seems like uh, maybe they're filming an episode of Rawhide here as they're driving cattle. So what we have here is chili relleno casserole because oh, it's look. way too much work to make chili relleno. So I just take all the ingredients, stack them up, and put them in a springform pan. Let's take the springform off and see what it looks look like. Well, and now we have it out of the springform pan. So you get to see the layers. We got the breading on one layer, and we got cheese and salsa and peppers, and then the breading again, and cheese and salsa and peppers, and then more cheese and salsa, and now we're gonna eat it. <laughs> oh, there's another thing that you might see. Where's my finger? Oh, right there. That is star fruit off of my neighbor's tree. Star fruit. See the star? That looks really good. Here, as we begin to plate it up, you can see the layers of cheese, breading, salsa, cheese, breading, salsa, peppers. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.